How to use PageFly on Shopify Landing Page Builder. Hello everyone, in this updated tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can build an amazing landing page for your Shopify store using PageFly because Shopify is great for high conversions and to build a store, but to build specific landing pages that have one particular call to action, one particular purpose, can be a bit difficult and PageFly can make this really easy and it's easily integratable into Shopify as well. So let's jump right in. To do this, simply head on over to your Shopify dashboard and we're going to go into settings. Then we're going to open up apps and sales channels and then open up the Shopify app store. From here, just search for PageFly. Now, once you search for PageFly over here, you're going to see the first application, which is PageFly Landing Page Builder. There is this dupe that is called PageTify. This is not the actual PageFly application. You want to go with this one that has a purple and white icon. So just click on this and then click on install. Once you click on install, a new page is going to open up from where you're going to continue the installation process of PageFly. Simply click on install over here. And once you click on install, you will see on the left, you have the PageFly page builder added to your navigation panel. Now, I just like to pin this for easier access. And then after that, you're going to enable UI optimization. So I like to enable this and you're going to choose what you want to create first. So we're going to create our page first and I'm going to click on next. Now, after that, we are going to choose the type of page you want to create. Now, PageFly has a wide variety of pages, so you can make a regular page, which might be a landing page, a testimonial page, a contact page. You might want to create your home page where you want to create something that's a bit elevated than the regular Shopify home pages. You might want to create a product page, a collections, blog, or password page. So in this video, we're going to build a home page and then I'll just click on start creating. Now, one thing to note is that PageFly on the free version allows you to only create one free page. So either you can create your home page or a singular landing page. If you want to create more than one page, you do have to upgrade two different plans and their starter plan starts at $24, which allows you to create upwards of five pages. Now we're going to go back into our dashboard and start building. Now this is the page five page editor. And from the left, you have different elements, content, third party elements, page templates that you can use and Paid settings. So the easiest way to get started with PageFly definitely has to be page templates. So you can click on the left over here and you can see there are a bunch of different templates. Now you can click on type over here and choose the type of page that you are creating. So I'm looking for homepage templates and you can also select a industry. So I want it to be preferably within clothing. Then you can also choose a style, a specific feature that you're looking to ensure is present, and then a collection as well. So these are the templates that are very specific and fall in the specific category. And I want something that is really different from the regular Shopify look. So as you guys can see, this one looks really similar to the default Shopify template that you have. So I'm not going to go with this one, but this one looks really unique. So I'm going to click on select and I am going to, I understand what I'm doing, click on confirm. And just like that, this is going to be our homepage. So from here, it's time to customize. Firstly, we are going to add our own text and you can just select any text element and edit it. So we're going to add classy old money aesthetic. And then after that, we also have this image over here. So within that particular image, there is a style applied. You will see within that row, if you go ahead and take a look at that row, it displays a section within your section. You know, you have multiple different sections and within a individual section, you have this column and then you have this row. And if you want, you can click on delete to delete an entire section. But if you want to delete individual elements, you're going to have to change the background because this image and this particular section has been incorporated in the form of a background. So you can see over here that we have styling and I can click on the styling over here. We have a preset that is applied. And from here, we also have spacing and then the background. So this is a standard background and we can customize our 
background color like so. So we can add our own background over here. I'm just gonna make it nice and fluffy and light. I'm gonna make it a reddish kind of pink like so. Now, once I have done that, I can move towards the advanced uh, settings. We can also customize the display. Now, I think I am satisfied with this particular section. We can also move it along if you want to, you know, reset how everything is going to be placed. But I think this looks pretty much all right for me. And I'm just going to ensure that our section is a bit skinnier because I always prefer skinnier sections. And then after that, we have this bar where we have different offerings of our Shopify store. So let's say I offer free shipping and delivery on orders above $50. And then we have customer service. Let's say I don't have customer service. So I have customer service. So I would remove 24 seven customer service and I can add maybe a email where people can mail us and then quality assurance and then payment method. So let's say we have cash on delivery slash card payments like this now once i've done that i can move towards the next section now another really important thing to structure within these page fly template pages is your buttons so if you click on a button over here on the left you're going to find general and if you scroll down under general you have the action and you can select the action that this is going to lead to so i want it to go to our url and i'm going to select the url and I want it to go to a particular product or a collection and I'll just add it to my homepage collection or to, you know, my all products collection. From there, you can customize each individual element. And once you have completed this styling, obviously this might take a bit longer when you're customizing individual sections. So once you have customized these, you can click on save and rename this particular page. So I'm going to rename this as homepage page fly and I'll click on saving page. Once you have clicked on save page, it's going to save up everything. And then once you have saved it, then you can click on publish and then click on publish over here. And you will see that it's going to tell you when you're publishing this page, your original Shopify homepage is going to be removed. We're going to click on publish over here and then click on publish. Once you have done that, your PageFly page is now live on Shopify. So we're just waiting for the publishing to be completed. And now if I open up my Shopify store, instead of this regular old home page, I would be able to see my PageFly page. It might take a couple of minutes for it to sync up. So you don't have to worry about that. You can just wait a few minutes and then your page will be showing up as a regular page. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.